my friends, MD Vegan. It's endives salad. Again, I have here these wonderful, crunchy, firm green leaves. That's the, the queen of our lettuces, I would say. Uh, it's expensive as compared to other lettuces, but of course, talking about lettuce, it's not never expensive. Yeah, really, they are all pretty available as compared to other uh, ingredients. Uh, but um, the endives has a little bit more price range, it's higher because, yeah, it has more nutrients, it has, the leaves are firm and crunchy, you can use them easily, store them easily, cut them easily, Others, other salads or salad leaves are tender, you cannot cut them easily. So this is a lot of, a lot of advantages, but to make it delicious, my mom showed me a trick <laughs> and she makes a vinaigrette that means a dressing with uh, oil and vinegar basically and here i have my choice here i have a little bit of olive oil and about three times as much i would say so one to three the ratio balsamic vinegar yeah that's an easy vinaigrette you have oil and vinegar my mom adds a lot of water to that usually yeah um, I will do that too today, but for the reason that the special trick here with the vinaigrette is the potato, the cooked potato. I already showed it in another video. Here I do it again. It's a half or a small cooked potato. I cut it into small pieces here to get it easier to blend. You see? And pepper and salt. That is a standard here. Just one teaspoon of Himalayan salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. I take a little bit less but yeah and a small potato so that all go all that goes into the um vinaigrette and because i have the potato i add a little bit of water so not too much because then it gets too light too watery but the potato needs a little bit more runniness just a little bit uh because you blend the potato into the dressing, the dressing gets thick yeah, and it can't be too thick for a salad, uh, for this salad. So now, let me begin, I'm just a small blender here. with a cooked potato and the trick with the cooked potato is that the, the, salad, the lettuce, the endive, they has a bitter flavor and this, the cooked potato uh, uh, balances the bitter flavor so that is her trick and I tried it and it works. I don't know why it works. <laughs> uh, friends already began to try to explain it on Facebook. I, I don't get it so far. Not, not, not understandable why it works. But it does work. A half cooked potato in a salad dressing like this uh, and the endive salad doesn't take bitter anymore. And that's fantastic, I think. Let me taste it. Oh yeah. It's perfect. i show you in a moment. Now, all I have to do, <coughs> I have to cut the, the leaves here. That's a dozen leaves. Uh, you have the big, big head and I just take the leaves from the outside, the rest goes back into the refrigerator, keeps over a week, really easy to, to store. And um, now to cut it, the special thing with endive is that I cut it into thin stripes. It's also a trick of my mom. I think others do that too, it's not specifically for her, but, he, but she, she, she showed me. Yeah. I stack the leaves on top of each other, and then I take my big chef knife and cut down thin stripes. Very simple. And that way <clears throat> you get a lot of volume. It's a beautiful texture, these thin stripes. And as I said, you can't do that with all kinds of lettuces 
because when the lettuce is too tender, the leaves are too tender, they get mushy and that is not nice. So the salad, green salad, has to be crunchy and fresh. Yeah. So this is the good, the good story uh, with this endive salad, that you can easily cut the leaves into these stripes and the stripes not only give it give them do they give a nice um, volume to the whole salad I show you in a moment what I'm talking about but they also make sure with the thin stripes they have a lot more surface so if you combine them with the dressing the dressing uh, combines more, better with all the leaves uh, and that makes the flavor better of course here see that's a lot of salad here just a uh, I thought it's a little bit, 12 leaves or so I had, not too big, and I have a whole bowl. So that's the base for an endive salad, all these wonderful thin stripes, a heap. And today I add, you can do some different, different additions to that. You have, first time I made tomatoes and onions, then I take a little bit of corn and bell pepper. Here just the same amount about, all a cup. The red bell pepper and a little bit of corn and a little bit of red onion. I also have a half a red onion here chopped that goes both uh, nice with both uh, with corn and with bell pepper. Onion is very nice. That's chopped up, half an onion, more or less as you like, doesn't really matter. But the important is that all the ingredients. Together, they taste colorful, round. Yeah, I tried one of these salads only with corn. I had endives, corn, onion, and it didn't really taste well because there was something missing. So today I add the red bell pepper. Let's see if that works. So um, that's all I'm gonna do now because I would now pour the. Um, here, the, the, the dressing on top of it, you see like this, you see it's creamy. I won't do more now because once I pour all the dressing and toss it, I quickly have to eat it. Otherwise, the leaves do turn wilty. I don't want to do that. Um, I just want to wait directly until I eat it and I have some, still, still some things to do in the kitchen before I get to eat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I will do it, but it's easy now. You can imagine how that works. Toss the dressing and the salad and enjoy. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe, MD Vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.